Alrighty guys, so welcome back. We at the last at the end of the other tutorial or in the last tutorial we found out how to make it so we can add or not not add because that was like the first tutorial or the second tutorial but delete the votes so this time let's do Microsoft because you know Microsoft some company let's that make that for the description and then the last one we can do HTTPS Microsoft store let's go to the store too and then we can add the post just like that see it right here description name and URL and then we can delete it and then bam it's gone again so we're going to be adding an upvote structure now to our website to, to add the upvote structure what we first had to do was clear the firebase which luckily we already did so it's not too big of a deal now so now what we need to do is make it so now when you add it add a new post you've got to set a votes variable to zero so setting this votes variable to zero because we want all vote all posts to start at a zero so then what we're going to do is simply just build a scope dot add vote um, function the add vote function will take in post because of course we need to take in the posts to know what post we're adding the vote to so then we're going to do post dot votes plus plus so we're going to basically add the increment the votes up then we're going to do posts dot save dollar sign save and then we're going to save it save the post so posts, like we declared way back up here, is the factory for our Firebase that actually creates it and makes it a Firebase, making it an array with objects. So with as simple as that, we can add a vote structure. So then we can jump into the main.html and then create a span. And this will be post.votes. And then we can create a button and then this button will be we'll just have it be add vote and ng dash click will then become add vote and of course it's going to take in the post and just also off the top of my head with some bootstrap classes I know we could do button button dash primary I believe sweet so now if we reload this We'll name it Google. Oh my gosh, not Google. Let's go Apple. Apple's cool. A fruit company. And then we can do HTTP colon slash slash apple dot com. And sweet, just like that, created it. Now we can see that now there's a new variable votes in here. So now if we click add vote, simple as that, it changed the vote. Boom, just like that, changing the vote, incrementing the votes upward. Let's put it at 10, that's a nice number. So yeah, we can see in the Firebase the votes is, are updated. All of this also is dynamic, so without even reloading the page, we can see that the votes are changed. So if we have two instances of this open, now we can add the vote to like 20. Without even refreshing the page on the original one, it's at 20. So if we put it back at 20, or whoops, put it at 25, it's at 25 here. So all of this is what Firebase and Angular JS call three-way data binding, which allows you to refresh the data on the page without even updating the page. So that's about it for this video. I'm thinking in the next one we can kind of spice up the CSS, make it look a bit more pretty. And then after that, I'm thinking maybe we could start to try to tackle authentication. Authentication, it'd be difficult, yet very cool and very rewarding. So I'll see you guys in the next video. If you enjoyed this, please make sure to hit the like button. Um, yeah, leave any comments you got below for me for maybe a next series that you want me to do. And I will catch you guys in the next video.